Hello, I'm Jim Lewis, founder of Communications Concepts. We're celebrating the company's 40th anniversary. And as part of that celebration, I'm sharing 40 tips that I've learned from running this business the last 40 years. If you're in most any business, you need customers to know about you. Today, promoting your business may be more complicated and more time consuming than ever before. There are so many channels that you could use to reach customers, such as websites, social media, all kinds of advertising and more. Each targets different markets and different buyers. However, there's some old rules about promotion that apply to any type of advertising or promotion. Here are four of my favorite rules. First comes from Henry Ford, and he said, a man who stops advertising to save money is like a man who stops the clock to save time. If you think you don't need to advertise and promote, you're probably wrong. As a follow-up to this rule, think of this. You know what happens when you stop advertising? Nothing happens. I remember my friend Ken Brown with WESH-TV in Orlando calling a car dealership one day and talking to the owner. He asked the dealer what he saw when he looked out his front window of his car dealership. The dealer looked out and said, lots of traffic. And Ken said, but are they're not stopping, are they? Because you're not advertising. Okay, so you've got to promote. The second rule I use comes from Steve Bauer when he was at Harris Corporation. Steve's rule was you should never put out any promotion that doesn't make you look better than you actually are in reality. If it doesn't improve your image, just don't do it. I use this rule as a yardstick before I consider any promotion, and it served me well. The third rule is, what is the call to action? What do you expect to have happen when someone sees your ad or promotion? As stated in one of my previous videos, most small businesses cannot afford to promote their name or brand because it costs too much money. So ads for small and specialty businesses must have a planned outcome. Does the promotion drive people to call you or to go to your website or better yet, place an order? If the ad pushes people to call or visit, are you prepared for what happens when they call or is your website ready to provide more information or will it make it easier for them to place an order? We talked about target marketing in a previous video. You wanna apply target marketing principles to your buying decision. Ask yourself, Will this ad or promotion reach my target audience? If possible, break this down into what is the cost per person reached, better known as cost per impression, within the target group of customers you want. By doing this, you can decide which promotion gives you the most return for your investment. To recap, you need to advertise and promote. Make sure your promotions make your business look the best. Plan what you want to have happen from your advertising and promotion and target your advertising and promotion to reach the people you want. If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns about advertising, post a comment below right here in our social media or write us at info at cci321.com. At Communications Concepts, we strive to help businesses succeed with their advertising and promotion. Please let us know how we can help you.